Hey guys, it's Becky. So today we are tackling a hot spot. Now a hot spot is a place where you tend to collect stuff. Like it could be a side table by your couch where you put magazines and stuff on, or it could be um, a kitchen counter, or in my case, it's the dining room table. We use the dining room table, we drop off junk mail there, we put our bags when we come in, we put down groceries, and so it tends to collect a lot of stuff. Um, so that is what we are doing today. Remember to keep up with your other um, habits that you're forming. And remember, we're halfway there. I mean, when you think about it, halfway there and you've been doing, adding all these habits. So, you know, shoot me a comment and let me know how are you doing? You know, are these videos helping you out? Is there more that you would like to see? And there will be more coming. You know, I said we were going to do zone cleaning and all of that other stuff. But right now we are just tackling the 21 days to a clean home. And I call it a 21 days to a peaceful home. These are all baby steps. So these are all baby steps to a peaceful home because it's going to be clean and you're going to be able to come home and you're going to be able to relax because things are in order. So um, I will show you my hot spot and I will clean it up and you'll know what it looks like afterwards. And um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Like I said, give me a thumbs up or hit subscribe and uh, shoot me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so today we are talking about hot spots. Hot spots are an area in your house that tend to collect clutter. In my house, it tends to be the dining room table because we come in the door and we just drop everything at the table, junk mail, groceries, purses, pills that need to be put away, junk. So anyways, I am going to straighten this out and I will talk to you guys in a bit. And here we go. And the heavens part and it shines. Oh, a clean table. Bye. Say hi, Annie. Say hello. So I just wanted to show y'all, Remember, I don't know if you remembered a few days ago when we were cleaning up a power clean and there was a bunch of mess right there and I still hadn't done it the next day. Well, let me show you where I moved that mess to. So it is now on the other side of the room, right there. But it's all contained in that bag and in that little Tupperware thing that fell over. So this is actually stuff that needs to go out to the garage and I've been holding off on it because my husband uses the garage as an office. So I'm waiting for him to actually go into the office so that I can straighten out the garage and put all this stuff away because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it. I just know that it needs to go away and it needs to go into the garage. So there it is. It's contained. It's right here. It needs to go out to the garage. Yes, I did the power clean, but it's all right there. And you know what? It's okay, it's all contained in one little area, so it still looks relatively clean here in the room. But um, yeah, there it is. And then on that stool is just my purse, getting it ready for tomorrow. And then I've got some stuff that I need to return. So I need to take it to the post office. And then in that bag in my purse, I have some beads in here that, um, you know, mom got from Michael's, but they're the wrong size. She's working on something, so. I need to take that back to Michael's. So all my errand stuff is right here and my clutter clean from the other day is right there and needs to get put away. So just thought I'd let y'all know that, like I said, nothing's perfect, but it's contained in one area and it's just waiting to go out to the garage. So hopefully, you know, maybe if he goes into the office next week, I can get it out there. Bye. And, oh, and I will show y'all what it looks like. A clean corner in the room. Bye.